African American women are more often diagnosed with cis breast tissue. We also often have dense breast tissue. And you know, I was just like feeling around on my boobs and I noticed my left boob on the side, I felt a small knot. And she just laid her head on me. She was like, don't stress yourself about it. She said, get it checked out, but don't stress yourself about it. I'm super fucking worried. I'm very concerned. It scares me. No cap. You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter. I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious and I ain't... You know the vibes. What's going on, Jay Squad? Plum Squad. It's, it's Jay. Jay. You already know. Welcome back to Jay Vibes. Where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on. Big period. Yeah. Today's video, you guys, is going to be um not too long. I just really wanted to share some news with you guys because I feel like it's important for me to be open about this, to share my concerns, and to really just put it out there because it's a really big deal. I want to say about two, three months ago, I was just laying in the bed, and this is before I moved into my apartment, so I was actually at my dad's house, I was laying in the bed, and you know, I was just like feeling around on my boobs, and I noticed my left boob on the side, I felt a small knot, and I'm like, oh shit, like I immediately started to freak out. So I lay on my back, cause I was laying on my side, so then I laid on my back, and I started to, you know, feel around some more, and I felt the same thing. I felt the same thing. So I'm like freaking out, like thinking that I'm making it worse because it was, it had to be like three o'clock, five o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, oh, why am I even up doing this? I'm freaking out. I'm probably tired. I'm making the situation seem worse in my mind than what it actually maybe possibly is. And I don't even know. Last night, about three o'clock in the morning, randomly, I just wake up out of my sleep and I start to fill out my boob randomly. And I filled it again. And I immediately, I text my older sister. And I was like, yo, I feel this this lump, this this knot on my boob. And I was like, I'm about to cry. This is my first time telling her. This is not my, this is not my first time discovering this. So I'm freaking out, you know. And a few hours later, Bae wakes up beside me. And I'm like, feel this. And she felt it. I said, do you feel that? And she said, yeah. And she just laid her head on me. She was like, don't stress yourself about it. She said, get it checked out, but don't stress yourself about it. Easier said, right? So I'm finally like up, ready to start my day. I really was like just laying in the bed, not really ready to start my day. Okay, so let me just back up for a second. The reason why I am back, you guys, here is because today is February the 22nd, 2022. 2-22-22. This is like once in a lifetime date of the year right and i was actually going to make today the official day that i asked trina to be my girlfriend but she already did that but i'm still gonna make today a special day i want us to bond um she's at work right now so when she gets home we're going to go it's a few things that i want to do today is such a beautiful day but you know with time restraints and with her scheduling um for tomorrow because i don't think she has off tomorrow I'm going to ask her though. But there's so much stuff that I want to do. I want to go to this uh park where it's like a, a river walk. I want to go there and like just spend some time. I also want to go. It's Tuesday. I want to have tacos and tequila. Duh. <laughs> I want to go do that. But I wanted us to go to the movies. We've never been to the movies. We always like Netflix and chill at the crib. Or like we'll do like when I'm at home in Charlotte and she's here where she's at. We'll like watch movies or we'll watch like series together literally we'll start at the same time so we do like things like that but we've never been to the movies never so it's this movie that came out earlier this month i forgot but it's with that dude that's um he's a really really good actor and um he's he's in that movie taken if i'm not if i'm not mistaken let me find out because I feel stupid right now. Black Light. That's what it's called. It's called Black Light. So we're going to go see that tonight. The last movie time that they have is for 6.45. So it's like, damn, I want to do all this stuff. But the movie is like literally in the middle of the day. And that movie is like an hour and 45 minutes long, I think. So it's kind of like if I try to go have tacos and tequila after, 
you know, we may be like so fucking hungry during the movie. So I'm thinking we should do tacos and tequila before, but then it's like, damn, we won't really have no time to go to the park. So, um, I'm probably just going to do the dinner in the movies. Now, going back on topic to the reason why I made this video, um, I reached out to my cousin because my cousin, I want to say maybe it's been a year now. My cousin was in a similar situation as me where she found something on her boob, um, and she didn't go get it checked out until a year later because that's when it started to actually bother her and come to find out it was a cyst that she had to let you know burst on his own or i'm not sure if the hospital had to burst it for her or whatever the case may be and you know and this this little jello ball lump bump I'm really like scared to describe what it is because I don't want it to sound like I'm I'm worried. I'm super fucking worried. I'm very concerned. It scares me. No cap. All morning I've been like teary eyed, it. keep trying to keep myself together. Um talking to family members. I actually have an aunt who is not like blood, but she's married to the family, but still I've known her all my life. And she had breast cancer and I was actually in middle school when this happened and I helped take care of her. I helped her get ready in the morning, get ready for bed. I helped, you know, I took her her meals. I was just there for her. I told her that she was always beautiful, you know, and I was there for her. So breast cancer isn't necessarily in my family, but you know, that doesn't mean anything and I don't have a lot of boobs but that doesn't mean anything and the reason why I really want to put this video out there is for women us don't be afraid to just check on yourself first like you know do the test I get an annual exam every year so my last exam was in September so it's, yeah, that's what I'm saying like I just went to the doctor in September everything was fine she did the boob check everything was fine and then like maybe a month or two later, a month or two, maybe three. Yeah, maybe three max. One to three months later, I discovered that bump, lump. And I was like, you know, freaking out like, oh, don't pay no attention. And I, I did. I forgot about it until last night. Randomly, I'm touching on myself again and I feel it. So, you know, if you don't know how to do the test, you're supposed to raise your arm up. You're supposed to, you know... With your other hand, feel around your boob on the sides, down below, on the sides again. And at the top, just, you know, touch around and feel if you feel anything. And, you know, I'm small as shit, so, you know, I can feel my rib. I can feel the actual breast silicone shit in there. I feel all that. But that, that, that little bump, thump, jello ball, that ain't on this boob, you know? So I had to compare, you know, some women don't have a woman figure in their life to teach them show them certain things at an early age to catch early on when you're growing up so i'm just i feel like everything happens for a reason i feel like you know even if it hasn't happened to me personally if it happens to someone close to, to my you know to me someone close to me a family member things like that if it happens to them i feel like i'm still going through that journey with them even though it's not my journey but all of that stuff is for a reason you know to know someone who's survived breast cancer you know boob chopped off chemo hair fell out i'm scared now i talked to my aunt because i was trying to see maybe she can refer me to her doctor because my doctor my doc I can't see my doctor until next month. Next month, March the twenty third to be exact. And I can't just go get a mammogram, supposedly of what I've been looking up or been told. I need to be referred by a doctor to get in there quick to get a mammogram test. So or mammogram testing. I don't know how you want to say it. But um my aunt said that African American women are more often diagnosed with cis breast tissue we also often have dense breast tissue and she you know just to, i guess comfort me she was letting me know that she does and her twin 
my aunt Jack does. But she told me to keep her posted, which I definitely am. And I definitely want to keep you guys posted. And I definitely, again, I just wanted to bring attention to, you know, getting your annual exam. I would be totally relieved if I go to the doctor and she's like, you know, it's nothing. I'm just, I'm just trying to really wrap my head around her saying there's nothing when I feel something. So it's kind of like, if I feel something, how could it be nothing? So, um, I'm shit, I'm still gonna be scared as fuck, even, even if it is a cyst. I'll be relieved that it's, it's not that. But, um, I'm just, I'm just worried because I'm in my 20s. Who in their 20s, and my cousin was in her 20s when she went through this, and she said this. Who in their 20s want to be worried and stressed out and concerned about, you know, lumps and bumps in their in their breasts? I don't want to do that. I don't want to go through that. So I want to get this shit checked out immediately. But um, with my doctor's schedule, with my work schedule, with me not knowing what my work schedule would be, I can't get in there until March 23rd. So I just want to bring awareness to that. And I just wanted to say, ladies, you know, check yourself maybe if you guys can give me some advice you know what i don't even know if i want advice because you guys might scare me you know just 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 high hopes keep me in your prayers everything's gonna be okay you know i don't want it to be nothing but like i say i feel something so how could this something that's not on my other boob how can it be in this boob how could I feel something and it turned out to be nothing. I mean, if it's nothing, praise Jesus. But if it is something, like, I just hope that it's a cyst. And then if it is a cyst, like, with my cousin, hers was on the outside. Like, it wasn't her skin, but it was coming, like, it was getting bigger and growing as a growing mosquito bite. Mine is in the inside of my, my skin. Like, it's not... I feel like if it got bigger, it would be bigger on the inside. It's not going to pop out like a mosquito. And then, like, I just feel like I'm overthinking it. Like, everything I do now, I'm trying to see if I feel it. It's like when I breathe in, I'm trying to see if I, if I, if I can feel it. But a few years ago, I used to get, like, this, this weird feeling like something pop in my chest. And I, I explained it to my doctor. And, you know, it didn't really draw any, any signs to her. Um, but now, it's just, I don't know. Um, I want to get ready for my day today. The beautiful day that I am going to have today. Making today a, a memorable day. Because today is one of a kind. 2 22 One of a kind type of day. And I want to have that kind of day without having it in this type of way but for the rest of the day i want to make it a great day it will be a great day i want to get ready for the adventures that's going to happen on later today it's so fucking pretty outside i really want to be outside but i don't want to smell like outside uh, especially not in this cute ass outfit that i'm about to put on so i'm about to get cute get pretty smell good make sure that you go to my j Bob's reactions channel Please make sure you are subscribed to all of my channels, you guys. Make sure your bell is turned on. Thumbs up the video. Share my content. Follow my social media. All that good shit. I need your support. Make sure you wash the ass because that helps me pay my bills. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Okay, I need that revenue. Um, not only do I want the revenue, you guys, but I want you guys' support. So, I hope that you're having a great day, a blessed day. You know, um... I'm signing out to the next video. Peace. So my doctor's office just called me. She said because of what's going on with the lump that I feel. She wants to get me in way earlier than next month. So I have an appointment on Friday. I have an appointment on Friday at 8. And you guys, I just... I don't like it. I'm really scared. I'm scared because it's in my boob. Like, if it was on the outside, okay, it would have to pop, right? it have to leak on its own. But it's on the inside of my boob. So, I would still have to have a needle to my chest for it to be popped. I don't, I, like, I don't even know the procedure. I'm just, I'm concerned. I'm scared as fuck. I'm worried. So, yeah. I will keep you updated in a few days with...
what's going on. Nah, I ain't conceited. I'm a different breed. It catch you slipping, best belief. I don't need no reason. I'ma cut the ties, ho. Turn your wife to my ho. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> J vibes, you know the vibes, you know the fuck going on. And I'm out this bitch.